Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ashley. If you didn't know, I'm the face behind Embers and Ash. A little disclaimer before I get started in this video, please don't comment on my neck tan line. It is so bad. I can't believe how bad it got. Like, so if you didn't know, I work outside and usually I'm pretty good at getting my like tan lines pretty like faded, but this is like rough. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. I have a wedding in a month where I'm wearing a strappy dress. What am I gonna do? <laughs> I need to learn how to use fake tan, but I also don't want to. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyways, this is so off topic. My name's Ashley. <laughs> I'm here to talk to you guys about how to keep your home clean, not about tan lines. Stay on track. Okay, so today's video is all about cleaning your home and more specifically, how to keep and maintain a clean home with minimal effort. Because the worst thing is when you just, you do a huge clean and then you blink and it's back to being a gong show again. So, here's some tips that I found to help keep, oh, to help keep my house clean and tidy and maintain it. So here are the five tips on how to keep and maintain a clean home, clean and tidy home. Tip number one is daily resets. I think that there's multiple names for this type of action, but what it means is that there are certain items in each room that can be like reset or put back in their place before you leave the room. Uh, this I find helps a lot with just making things look tidy. An example of this is in the kitchen, the kettle. We pull the kettle out when we turn it on so all the condensation doesn't go up on the cupboards and our daily reset is to push it back in when we're done using it. Another really obvious one is when you leave the bedroom, you put the blankets back on the bed properly. I don't like make my bed perfectly every day by any means, but if you at least lay the blanket down properly, it looks a bit more tidy. Another thing is putting the remote where it belongs when you're done with it. So this I find makes a huge difference because it takes two seconds of your time to just put little things back in place once you're done using it and it helps prevent the whole room from like falling apart. Tip number two is doing a 10 minute clean right when you get home from work. So for myself, and I'm assuming some of you, after work, once you stop moving, you don't start moving again or it's really hard to start moving again. So once I'm on the couch, game over, we're done. So what I like to try and do is when I get home, I enter the house, I'm dirty from work, so I'm in the perfect condition to clean. And I just do 10 minutes of tidying up, cleaning up, nothing big. Like I don't pull the vacuum out, I'm just putting things away, wiping the counters. And I find that also makes a huge difference. It again does not take much of my time and it's when I'm already in that busy mindset and then I can just relax again. I'll also admit that I am really guilty of not doing this because sometimes life gets in the way. Like, like I've been working 12 hour work shifts lately and at the end of the day, I don't have those 10 minutes to spare. I need the couch, I need my feet up and that's just kind of how life goes sometimes. But on the regular schedule, I really try and keep up with this. Tip number three is that your dishwasher is not for storing dishes. I'm pretty sure everyone's guilty of this. Uh, you fill your dishwasher, or first of all, you don't have a dish rack if you've seen any of my other videos, specifically what to not buy for your first apartment. Uh, you fill your dishwasher with dirty dishes, you turn it on, you close it up, do it the other way around, <laughs> close it up, turn it on, and then once it's done, you just start pulling your dishes from there when you need them, which is not how you should do it because then the counter just gets filled and the, the sink gets filled with your dirty dishes because you can't put them in the dishwasher. This one I know people know, but you need that reminder. Just take a second and empty your dishwasher because it will save you such a headache of having your dishes stacked on the counter. That is my biggest annoyance, and not annoyance, but that's the thing that really makes me feel like my house is dirty is when dishes are on the counter. So if you just take the time to empty it out, then every time you have a dirty dish after that, they'll just get hidden away in the dishwasher in a nice little box and then you're good to go. Tip number four really just goes along with minimalism and that is don't keep clutter because clutter just will end up everywhere in your house and we don't want that. 
<laughs> so making sure that you are regularly going through your stuff and getting rid of things that you don't need. This isn't a declutter video, so I won't go into detail about it, but yeah, making sure you're keeping the minimal amount of things that you need in your house because then you don't have stuff to make your house messy. And tip number five is living in a space that's within your means. This one's more of a huge decision to make in your life, but I wanted to add it in there. And <laughs> just that you really shouldn't be living in a house that's bigger than what you need. I know there's a lot of people who think that they need more space because that's just what they're told they're supposed to have for the size of family that they have. Um, but I don't think that's necessary. Like our house has two bedrooms in it which we really could live with one bedroom if we had to and it would work fine for us but we know we want to grow our family in the next couple years so that's why we got the second bedroom i know other people who are in three person families and they have like four bedrooms and it's like why do you need that much space like that's just that's just rooms to keep stuff in that you don't need. So this one is not as like easy to just throw into your life, but it's something to kind of keep in mind that if you have more space, you're gonna have more stuff and that stuff is gonna equate to more clutter. So live within your means. <laughs> okay, so that is all that I have to share with you guys about that topic today. Um, just a reminder that you're never gonna have your house perfectly clean all the time. That's an impossible goal, but these are just a couple things that can help out and help just stay on top of the cleanliness of your home. So thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.